time for the amazing Spider-Man 2 toys for 2014. And this is the girl set. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Happy Meal toy fails. They're upset parents tonight. I mean, they're outraged. They say some of their children receive foul mouth toys in their Happy Meals. For this list, we're looking at some of the Happy Meal toys that were disappointing, not functional, or just bizarre. Which Happy Meal toy disappointed you as a child? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, American Idol MP3 Player. Premiering in 2002, American Idol was arguably at the height of its popularity by 2007. I don't mind not knowing what I'm headed for. You can take me. So why not have Happy Meal toys based on the hit show? Well, there are a number of reasons why not. The demographic for Idol was perhaps a little higher than Happy Meal age, and we can only assume that very young children had no idea what the toys were about. There were a number of options, but the MP3 player has to be among the worst. <laughs> A thin, iPod semblant piece of plastic that played the idol theme over and over again. Yay? In second place for terrible idol toys, the music themed figurines. Disco Dave, anyone? Right, young children? Disco? It just wasn't happening for me, dog. Number 9. McDonald's Character Glove Puppets. Puppets are a timeless classic and have been around for centuries. Welcome back to Introduction to Puppetry. We had a fun morning making our puppets. Now let's see if we can bring them to life. Unfortunately, some puppets are just disposable letdowns. Such were the glove puppets offered by McDonald's in the 1980s. They were basically just plastic bags with drawings of the restaurant's characters on them. Woohoo! Not only did they look like cheap sandwich bags, but they were also an obvious choking hazard. It's probably the laziest item on this list, and we are sincerely hoping there will never be an encore of these. We'd rather be disappointed by some of the other entries on this list. Go ahead, make a fool of yourself. Number 8. Zizzle Is Sometimes an attempt at the next big thing just doesn't quite work out. At the end of 2005, toy company Zizzle released the Is, which was an interactive music speaker dancing thing. And turn his ear. The company had hoped to have the next Furby on their hands. Well, the creepy factor was there, that's for sure. McDonald's offered the toys in 2006, hoping to get an early trip on the bandwagon. Unfortunately, Izzes did not take off, presumably because they were creepy and children just couldn't get into them at all. Let's get them all going. Can you blame them? Zizzle Izzes looked like emaciated Mr. Potato Heads crying out for help. Number 7. Toothbrush and Toothpaste This is kind of a predictable failure. You know what kids get really excited about? Dental hygiene! Oh, my teeth! I'm free! Free! I claim this mouth in the name of Incisor. I think not. In 1983, McDonald's had the interesting idea to forego Happy Meal toys for a toothbrush and toothpaste. Sure, brushing is important and all that, and 9 out of 10 dentists were probably happy. Right you are, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Why, doctor, you're welcome. But we can only imagine the endless looks of disappointment on children's faces, followed by the same looks on parents' faces when they realized they'd have to find alternate forms of entertainment during the meal, on top of managing their children's disappointment. How often do you brush, Ralph? Three times a day, sir. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? The Happy Meal is supposed to make children happy. Leave the boring stuff to parents, please. Number 6. Mighty Ducks Pucks in 1992, the film The Mighty Ducks was reasonably well received and led to an animated series in 1996. Those guys shoot. He yeah, yeah, yeah. The animated series was the inspiration behind the McDonald's Mighty Ducks pucks, which were hockey pucks adorned with characters from the series. Fresh from their road trip to McDonald's, the Mighty Ducks take the ice. Only it's wood because it's a coffee table. Take those fries. Ah, wild wings in the stand! 
That's all fine and good, but McDonald's decided to show their ignorance of how the sport is played when they advertised the pucks as functional, i.e. one could actually play hockey with them. Sure, you could, but the plastic puck would shatter quite quickly, littering the ice with tiny puck parts and ruining the toy in one pass. I'd say we've done enough damage for one day. Number 5. McDonald's Character Sunglasses some of the past McDonald's Happy Meal toys seem like cop-outs. When there wasn't much to promote film or cartoon-wise, McDonald's would release toys based on its characters. These were hit or miss, and this entry is a definite miss. Oh yeah, yeah bingo, there works. it is, right there. In 1989, children could find some cheap plastic sunglasses in their Happy Meals. Each pair was adorned with either Ronald, Grimace, Bertie, or the Hamburglar. Each pair was also wildly unattractive and could make anyone look like, well, a person wearing hideous sunglasses. Not to mention, the Ronald ones are basically terrifying with their Pennywise vibes. Take it. Take it, Georgie. These are some sunglasses you'll want to wear at night, so no one can see them. Number 4. Popoids you know what kids love? A bunch of meaningless pieces of plastic they can connect to create? Well, nothing. Popoids were pretty much just that. A collection of strange, tubular pieces of plastic connecting to some wheels and balls or cubes or we have no idea. It's the Popoids' colossal cosmic set. They're silly, they're wacky, and they bent and posed like that. Not only were these a potential choking hazard for the younger Happy Meal audience, but they were very dull as well. There's no way anyone can get hours of fun out of three pieces of interconnecting plastic. You can collect one of four different three-piece Tommy Popoid sets when you buy a McDonald's Crazy Creatures Happy Meal. They tried to promote them on commercials, claiming you could connect them all to create crazy creatures. But what's really missing here is the crazy fun. Number 3. Tickle Feather Sponge in 1982, children could delight in opening their Happy Meals to find a tickle feather sponge. This seems like a joke, but it's absolutely something that was offered by the fast food chain. Steve, this is real. Yep, got it. Here it is. One of your faves yep. as a kid, right? It was a long yellow foam cutout featuring the image of a feather and intended for use in tickling. Nope, we're really not kidding. This was a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the potential inappropriate undertones, who in their right mind thought this was a good idea? You know what kids really need? A way to harass each other and their parents with a piece of foam that quite honestly looks like it probably exfoliates rather than tickles. Excuse me, sir, do you like to laugh? Well, only if something tickles me just right. Much better than an actual toy. Number 2. Spider-Man 2 Girl Toys Sometimes the big film of the summer is believed to have a predominantly male audience, and McDonald's just has to make do, apparently. You can get a taste of the action at McDonald's and be amazing like Spider-Man when you stick to awesome stuff like dairy and fruit. Part of the web-slinging fun now in your Happy Meal. So what about girls? Just give them the same toys? Of course not. We need pink, purple, and hearts stat. In 2014, the big blockbuster was The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Mickey D's got in on that action. However, rather than just offering the same toys for everyone, they had separate toys for girls and boys. The boys and the girls sets, and I'm sure you can tell which is which and what they're trying to do here. The girl toys were basically just Spider-Man stuff colored pink and purple, and featured a headband and wallet, among other things. Honestly, even if they were to offer two versions of the toys, perhaps don't do it in a stereotypical lazy way. There you have it, everybody! The Amazing Spider-Man 2 set of eight different pink movie toys just released here in 2014 by McDonald's. Before we unveil our number one pick, here is an honorable mention. Batman Returns. These family-friendly toys in support of a not-so-family-friendly movie outraged parents. Now you can get a Batman car and a McDonald's Happy Meal, Best Catwoman Scoop, Batman's Launching Batmobile, or the Penguin's Roadster. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cursing Minions Kids love minions. Anyone who knows or has children will have heard endless impersonations and endless repetitions of the word banana. 
Oh, banana. Banana. So, unsurprisingly, McDonald's got in on that action and in 2015 offered a collection of talking Minions figurines. You'll find a funny little Minion in every McDonald's Happy Meal. Now, the Minions speak Minionese, which is really a mix of common English words and nonsense. However, when you have a small plastic figurine say some of these Minion words, there's a slight loss in translation. McDonald's says a very small number of customers has contacted them about the Minion concerns, but it will not be pulling the toy from Happy Meals. Parents were understandably upset when it seemed that their children's toys started to exclaim an expletive, as in, what the blank? Fill in the blank yourselves, friends. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.